chan chan chow, Santa Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Region Adventures X. Nuzlocke, in the last episode, we got our first gym badge from Merson City, and today we are heading up Mount Boulder Pass and towards Mount Boulder. That is what we're going to do in today's episode. Here is the team rather quickly for you guys. We have Volty, Harry, Vamps, Jet and Spitfire. So we are ready for this. Let's. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put Vamps out front today as episode. I'm a little bit worried about that hiker guy there because I don't really have too much that deals with rock and ground types yet, but we'll see if I necessarily need a lot to deal with rock and ground types yet. I got the flinch. Okay, take down the PG, nice. And a Fero. Don't like the Leer. Stop leering me. Oh, please don't use pursuit. Please don't use pursuit. Please don't use pursuit. Please don't use pursuit. Thank you. That was a little bit of a scary experience. If she had used Pursuit, I would have been in trouble. Thanks, Faulty. We beat Carol. I can straight up avoid you. And this route does go on a bit further. Then what is in this cave? This is a way... Oh yeah, this is a way into Mount Boulder. I keep... I forgot about that. I can't really do anything here, but I guess I can get my encounter from Mount Boulder Caves. My encounter's a Psyduck. No, 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 you need to glare this thing. You need to glare this thing. Oh yeah, timers. We do those things here. You're getting bonus time for no reason at all because I don't we forgot we do timers here. Okay, I can paralyze you. Poison sting. You're paralyzed. It is time for a ball. I was almost scared about the crit. And the poison sting to killing you. We got Psyduck. Alright, cool. We have Psyduck. Not the best water type, but it's a water type. I will take it. It will be put into the back of the party for the moment in time and it will be grinded off uh, grinded up off screen in between episodes so there we go we have hangover for Psyduck what else could we have had here Diggler sure Alright, maybe there is a way I could possibly beat this, uh, let's have a look at this, uh, hangover, please. Mild nature, there's its stats for you guys, damp prevents self-destruction, scratch, water sport, tail whip, and disable. So there we go. Maybe there's a way I could beat this hiker? Maybe? It's going to be a Metal Claw. I 
I wasn't expecting you to be level 31. Troll. Spitfire is actually dead now. There is no way of bringing him back. And I'm going, and I possibly am going to lose the lock. In episode five. Okay, Mr. Guillotine. What the hell was that? You can't even learn guillotine! Why is this game trolling the hell out of me? Why is this game trolling the hell out of me just because he want uh, just because it wants to? I cannot bring Charizard back ever again now. This char, uh, this char, this Spitfire will never become a Charizard. It is that is how this series, that is how it ends for Charizard. Guillotine. Guillotine. This game is an absolute troll. I hope I can replace my starter with my next encounter. Where that's going to come from, I have no idea because the Mount Boulder Pass is uh, already got an encounter. I've already got my encounter for the Mount Boulder Pass, and I've already got my uh, Mount Boulder Range. Sorry, and I've already got my encounter for the Mount Boulder Caves. So can't get an encounter there either. So I don't really know where my next encounter is going to come from. But this game wants to be a massive, massive troll. And take away my Charizard. I am sorry, Lacey. And I am sorry to all those people who picked Charizard as my starter. But this game is... This game is going to be harder than Blaze Black and Bolt White. I don't know if we're going to make it through. I have another lock waiting in the rings just in case. That is my Pokemon Royal version Wonder Lock. That will be happening. That is waiting in the wings just in case I need it. You know, it is here. It is ready. I do not have the GFX ready, but I will make something. It doesn't. It won't take me too long. I'm good with GFX, you know? So I can make something that will work for this series. I'm not the best when it comes to GFX. I mean, if I need the best, I go to Fiery Dance. That's my guy for the best GFX on YouTube. He is the guy. So if I need the best, I go to the best. And I will be going to him for my brilliant diamond shining s pearl uh, layouts and stuff like that that we'll do eventually. Okay. I'm in the building. I'm in this building now. Hello, sweetie. Do you know how hot, hot, hot Jim Leader Whitney is yet? Okay, you need to go. You are not good. <laughs> that guy on the couch there is supposed to be a ROM hacker or something. Jeremy, I think his name is. But uh, you uh, know what I think. He's got some problems. However, he, I think there's one of the main hackmon 
staff upstairs that creeps me out. His name is Jake, I believe. He shows obvious signs of being perverted. Uh, that's it, and it scares me. Okay. Is this the re is this like the whole ROM hacker building? Oh, it's Cool Boy Man! Hello, it's been a while. We love working. I love working with you. Hi, I'm the game designer. Are you working on a Pokedex? Uh, Pokedex? I know that's tough. When you finish, come show it me. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. Me, I'm the beta tester. Me, uh, you're talking to me. I'm a programmer. Uh, I wonder what slots uh, are here. Should I, m should I meet this Jake person who's one of the Hackmon people? Hello. There's, there is nothing I don't know, so I wrote it down on the blackboard. But I know of the world of the Game Boy Advanced. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading. Eevee! Thank you! I love Eevee. And I love the fact we have one, another one to work with here. So... I'm going to call you Mackie. Alright, let's have a look at this Eevee then. Mackie is level 5. Sassy nature. Run away for your ability. There's its stats there. Could be interesting. Very much could be interesting. Very much want to use one. Don't know who this Jake person is and I uh, did not get to meet them. Nope. Didn't get to meet this Jake person. That's fine though. I did see May down here though. You never know when you uh, meet people they might challenge you. Here's that's why I leave home with my Game Boy Advanced. Let me see your Pokemon. Your, your Pokemon, it likes you a lot. It wants to be with you. It wants to be babied a little. A group of people under the name Hackmon have a lease here. I think their name Hack is... I think... Their name has hack in it. So, I guess uh, they like must hack games. Sure. There are patches around the grass in the region where that are dark in the middle. Often berries grow in them. Sure, thanks, May. Did I want to face you? Mr. Random Man who's shouts Kirby. And has a wiggly tough. Ooh, that is scary. Okay, I can poison powder you. Defense curl's annoying, but I can handle it for a moment in time. can do this. Get a crit. Nice. You miss. Okay. Supersonic. Oh, no. Okay. I'm still okay. Still okay. You're hurt by the poison. Nice. Still okay. Confusion. Oh, I'm disabled. So 
Are you safe? It does about two damage. Doesn't really do a lot of damage, but I got some recovery out of it. Don't like the fact you disabled me, but you're going to die to poison. Nice work, Harry. This person really likes Kirby. That's the marine bra uh that's the marine badge. My brother Lucian's badge. And uh, he's an awesome trainer. I have a present for you. A water stone. Thank you. That's the water stone. It can evolve certain types of water Pokemon. That is cool. Do I need... Do I want to talk to that guy there now? I'm going to talk to him. I might regret this. The guy over there seems to really like Kirby. It's really disturbing. You're not telling... You know, you're telling me. I also think it's quite disturbing that that guy likes Kirby so much. <laughs> okay. What is here? Doc Underpass. From this underpass, you can go to here with docks. Alright, we're in the dock underpass. Don't think there's anything here for me to catch Pokemon-wise, so... Just run through this place and... Uh, talk to this guy here. Oh, kid! Did you know uh, Seashore is just south of here? We're at Hayward Docks. I found an ether. If there's grass, I would like to see it. There is. Hello. A fainted Pokemon has no energy left to battle and is considered dead. But it can still use moves like cut outside a bow. I'm looking for an Abra. Want to trade it for my Mr. Mime? No, I don't. But I do want to get my encounter for the Hayward Docks. My encounter for the Hayward Docks is... Not that I have that. Attempt two. My encounter for the Hayward Docks is... Okay, need arena. Now that is a good mon. But I actually wouldn't mind having on the team. I love Nido Queen. And I have a Moonstone. I love Nido Queen. She I only have one of these. Oh no, I can't have him. I should have done more damage. I should have done more damage. I should have done more damage. I only had one Pokeball. Well, it is what it is. I only have one Pokeball. I don't get this encounter. But this encounter wants to stay around. Sadly, if I had more balls, I probably, I probably could have confusioned it, and it would have been fine. I could have double confused it, and it still would have been fine. Find his lantern, Joe. Look for you guys. Game likes to be a constant troll. The gateway to the docks is damaged right now. It still needs repair. Sorry. Okay, so I did need to go up. It's a shame I can't have that encounter because I kind of needed any. I kind of needed new mons. I kind of needed another mon on this team. But 
But it's fine. It's fine. There's a Weedle. Could have had a Weedle. Would have preferred to have the Nita Queen. Already have a Pidgey. It's still fine. A little annoyed by the fact I lost an encounter and I've lost a Pokemon here today. But I've made it to Herewood City. Welcome to the regional post office. Checking for the letters. Actually, there are two letters from me. From Dad. Hiya, Joanne. Uh, I hear you've made it past Merson Cave. There's a very... That's a very long adventure. Just uh, from starting off. Congrats. I have er I've already subscribed to Trainer Tips Monthly for you. Uh, if you were looking for any help, check your mailbox regularly. From Trainer Tips Monthly. Dear Joanne, we have, uh, we have, you have been kindly referred to us by your father, Red. See, uh, Trainer Tips Monthly is a free service that develops uh, trainers uh, tips from all across the region. You will be receiving our latest trainer tips soon. Please check the regular. All right. I guess I'll most probably check my mailbox often and keep an eye on that. Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to end off today's episode. We have made it to Hayward City, and that is where we're going to end stop today's episode. But before we do that, I guess we can have a look at Mackie. Here's Mackie, named after rival Safina, aka Miss Mackie Chan One. Uh, per a very important person in the Lantern Joe um, arc of the channel. You know, Lantern Joe Smash Joe's PH Games arc of this channel. But, you know, without a Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Diamond Egglock that started everything on this channel, one of the main starter series on this channel, we wouldn't have had this. Uh, we wouldn't be here right now. So, thank you to Rival Safina for that. Anyway, run away for the ability. Tackle, Tail Whip, Helping Hand, level 5. That's why it's named Mackie. What is this building? Do you trade Pokemon with your friends? Not only can you exchange Pokemon, but you can exchange items too. We study Pokemon every day. People offer... Can I revive my Pokemon? You have Metronome. I don't, want to, I don't want to teach Metronome to anyone. That's Timer. I don't really care about Timer right now. I want to know if I can revive my po I want to know if I can revive a Pokemon. You are an important doctor. I can revive a Pokemon. I have a Helix Fossil. I handed my Helix Fossil to uh, to the Weird Doctor. And I'm going to be hand uh, I'm going to be putting a hangover in the box for the moment in time so that I can grab this final mon and get Omanite. Let's get Lord Helix. You're late. Where were you? Your fossil has come back to life. It's Omanite. We have an Omanite. It is going to be named Lord. And we have Lord the Omanite. Lonely Nature, Rock Water Type. There's its stats for you guys. Swift Swim for the ability. Withdraw and Constrict on the Musa. And on that note, I'm going to end off this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, what is in this room? You're talking about Sinnoh. You want to trade Paris for Campo. I don't have the ability to give you Clan Pearl because... I mean, I guess I could trade in Venonat for Tangela. 
I don't want to do that because that's Harry. You know, that's my mom. Leave that alone, Jeff. Do not trade that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time when we will continue onwards. And until then, me and the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.